All right, this is going to be a mini lesson on different types of angle relationships. And this is going to be a super fast review of a lesson that took a lot longer. So this is just a mini lesson. Not going to explain much about it, just remind you how to do these. And we're going to go over all the terms that you see here on the left in green. Adjacent angle. Adjacent means touching. Next door neighbors. So A and B, angle A. Angle B are adjacent or next to each other. B and D, angle B and angle D, I should put an and symbol in here, are adjacent or touching each other. E, F, F, H, H, G, G, E, C, A. These are all adjacent or next door to each other. Vertical angles are angles that are across from each other. You have two lines that cross. The angle that's here and here across from each other are at our vertical angles. So angle A and angle D are vertical. We could say angle F and G, angle F and angle G. Uh, and there's a few more. There's actually two other examples and I'm not gonna go into those now. Corresponding, corresponding angles is one of the trickier ones for kids. Picture this to be like a four seat table group. It's in a, in a classroom, okay, where you have four tables, four desks that are all situated together into a group. And here's another group of four. The corresponding idea means if the person, let's take a look at person A. They're sitting in this seat of that table group. Which person in this table group is sitting in the same uh, location as the letter A in that one? So corresponding angle of angle A would be angle E, because E is in the same spot. Uh, corresponding angle for H is angle D, and so on. By the way, these two lines are parallel to each other. That's the reason that all of this works. Interior angles are all the angles. Interior means on the inside, so that's all the angles that are on the inside of the two parallel lines. The interior angles would be C, angle D, angle E, it's on the inside, and angle F. The exterior angles are all the angles that are on the outside. Exterior means outside, so that's angle A, angle B, angle G, and angle H. They're on the outside of these two parallel lines. Alternate interior angles. Interior means inside, and these are two angles. The relationship between them is that they're on the alternate or different sides of this line. So we're taking a look at this line, angle D, the alternate interior angle to that is angle E because it's on the other side of that line. So alternate in interior angle of D is angle E. Another alternate interior angle is C with angle F. Angle C and angle F. Alternate exterior angles, same idea. Angle G and angle B are alternate exterior angles. G and angle B. They're on the exterior outside and they're on the opposite side of this line. This G is on the left side of the line, B is on the right side of the line. H and A are also alternate exterior angles. Last one is an angle bisector. If I take an angle and I draw a line right in the middle and I split this angle into two equal angles, this line that comes in the middle right here is called an angle bisector. An angle bisector cuts a bigger angle into two equal angles. 